are you gonna charge for that set of nails? Today's situation is a unique one. Basically, the client comes in, she needs some strength. She needs that C-curve, and you've gotta do that with acrylic. At the same time, she wants that dimensional look on top, which means you've gotta use gel. So we've got here is a combination of using acrylic with gel. How do you do it? More importantly, how much are you gonna charge? Do you go a little extra because you're doing a combo or is the price gonna stay the same? These are the questions that I've got. I do not have the answers for you because I'm not the pro, but there's actually a couple of professionals before me here today, not just one. We've got Du, Tracy and Stephanie. Stephanie's our model. Tracy, can you tell us how you're gonna go about this set? Did Tracy, you say do? <laughs> I said do. That's French for the number two. That's correct. I speak a little French. I can count to two. Talk to us, Tracy. Walk us through this, please. I'm proud of you counting to two. <laughs> We're doing the set with acrylic gel combination. You got to pinch it. You got to get dimensional look on top. Do you charge for that? How do you go about the set? Is it going to work? Is it going to stick to the acrylic? Tell us all of this information, please. <laughs> okay. So sometimes a customer comes in, they really want that added length. Um, and you can do that in gel, but if they have like weak nails or a deep curve, something where you really needed the added C curve, a really good pinch, uh, but you want that really clear dimensional look of a gel, uh, we're just going to combine the both. We're going to do our base layer in acrylic, get our good pinch, do the gel. Uh, we'll see if we charge extra because of all that. I'm super curious. Are you ready? Yes, I've been ready for oh two Oh my hours. God, you're ready. Okay, let's do two it. Two hours. <laughs> you are tuned in. Let's get started with the products we're going to be using. We're going to be using Speed Clear as our base. That's what we'll be pinching. And then we're going to go into our Synergy base. We'll use Build Pink for our dimensional nails. And then, of course, the art. We're going to be using Fuchsia, Shock, Apple, Canadian Blue, Purple, Ice. But wait, there's more. <laughs> and Blueberry Mint Icy. Oh, I almost forgot. What is this called? Always a bridesmaid. Couldn't remember. It had something to do with bridal. <laughs> Always a bridesmaid. Uh, beautiful go time color. Let's get started. So first, we're going to start by pushing back the cuticle. And we're going to be doing two nails on her really quickly. Next, we're going to go to our prep. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I truly, truly love the medium crosscut bit. Uh, it just tucks into the cuticle area really nicely. It's the same grit as a medium arbor band, so there is no difference. It's not going to damage the natural nail. Okay, so we're just going to take her finger. What's nice about working on a real person other than myself, you can see I kind of take the fingers, I wrap it around that's pulling the skin away from the cuticle area so I can really tuck in to the cuticle area and get that all cleaned up. You can see all that stuff that just came out of there. Once we've done that, I'm gonna come through. She still has a little bit of acrylic on, so we're just gonna remove the shine, making sure the shine is removed from the whole surface of the natural nail. Again, pull back. Tuck right into that cuticle area. Get that nice and clean. As I twist her finger, I'm still pulling away the skin with my thumb. Tuck into the side. Run through, remove the shine from the whole surface of the natural nail. I love using a plastic clean brush to do my swipe, but first I take the brush and I just dust off the excess. Then we can bring in our swipe, pump the swipe right into the brush, and we're going to take it and we're going to go down the nail. 
And this is gonna just pull everything from the cuticle area. If you go this way, all you're doing is kind of shoving it into the sidewalls. This way, it's gonna pull everything out. After we've done that to all 10 fingers, we're gonna go ahead and go into our protein bond. We're gonna get our first layer on, both nails. Do that to all the fingers. I'm gonna come back and do a second coat. I, again, always say one time for most people, two time for heavy lifters. I don't wanna find out she's a heavy lifter, so I'm always gonna do it twice. Okay, we're gonna grab our form. Go ahead and push that middle part back here. That just makes the form a little more stable. We're gonna take her finger and we're gonna get it on her nail. Pinch it in the sides really well. Pull it all the way through. Let's grab our liquid and our speed clear. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up a nice pearl. And place it down on the free edge. Butt it up to that natural nail, making sure that we're connecting it to the sidewalls. I'm gonna just start to pull it out to that point. little bit longer. So we're going to go ahead and just grab a little bit, flop it where I need it. Now when I say to connect it to the sidewalls, I mean all the way up to here. A lot of people will stop here and that's leaving a weak spot right where the two connect. So we want to make sure that we're connecting it all the way up. I'm going to go ahead and grab a small pearl of clear and just add it to the body of the nail. And this is gonna help us when we go to pinch. Let's grab our other hand. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Brought to you by, brought to you by, brought to you by. The high level. So as you're going, I usually, it depends how fast you're going, when to come back and pinch. You usually get one or two nails ahead, again, depending how fast you're going. Then we're gonna come back, we're gonna take that magic wand and we're gonna just push in the sidewalls and I just let it go. I let it do the work for me. I'm not gonna pinch extra with it. And I'll even take my fingers and kind of pinch through the body, making sure that pinch goes all the way through so we're gonna have a nice curve. After I get it on all 10 fingers, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my base. So we wanna make sure that we have gel back here, nice and secured, that we have our foundation so we don't have any lifting. And we're gonna get it in the back area, and pull it through. This is just a nice thin layer. We're really trying not to build up a ton of bulk. So we have room to add our dimension. Next now. Okay, let's get her in the light. We're gonna cure this out for 30 seconds. We'll be working on the other hand in the meantime. Okay, at this time we can go ahead and just get rid of this form. I like to get rid of the forms as soon as possible because it gives me a better view of what I'm doing. Okay, so at this point we're gonna grab the go time color. Always a bridesmaid. Because I want darkness behind this, so I'm gonna use the color to get that so we have no transparency at all. So we're gonna get that on this finger. Okay, let's go ahead and get that down. Again, this doesn't have to be a pretty job. Obviously, I'm not going on a smooth surface. We're just wanting some of that color back there, and that's gonna give us our opaqueness. On this one, we're gonna do a little bit of a fade. So I'm just gonna bring it here. Wipe the excess off. Just Kind of pull it up a little bit. Don't worry about it being pretty. We're gonna use glitter to make that all disappear. Okay, let's get this in the light. Gonna go ahead and cure this out for 30 seconds. I'm not worried about a full cure at this moment because we're gonna keep curing when we add the gel and do a final cure at the end. At this point, we're gonna grab our built pink. Grab a 
little amount. No, we don't need much. I don't know if you can see how much is on there, but again, we're not trying to build structure right now. I'm just trying to make this sticky and give myself something to put everything into. seconds. Let's grab our glitters. Let's see how much we can fit into one now. And we'll worry about the mylar in a second. I noticed there's a lot of purple in this, so that's kind of going to be my, my base color. So we're going to start with that. Just go to the jar. Just start adding it into the sticky layer of the gel. Wipe it off. Let's add some green to really give it a little contrast. You can see how it starts to make it pop. Fuchsia. Wipe it on my pants. Uh, we're gonna go a little shock. And we're gonna wait on the blue for the second layer. Just press that in a little bit more. I'm gonna add a little of the ice. Now, I'm not sure that she had ice in her mix, but I really wanted to use it, so my client's getting it. <laughs> she has no choice. This nail, she didn't really use the dark color, so we're gonna go more with that shock and ice and maybe uh, the apple. Let's start with shock. We're just gonna add it right into that, try to make that line disappear that we have from the gel polish. Okay, so we're going to get another layer of our Build Pink on. Again, it doesn't have to be a lot. We're not really starting to, we're really not trying to get our structure yet. So we're just going to give ourselves another layer that we can push the Mylar into and add some more glitter to. And you can see once you start getting a little bit of that Build Pink on there, I don't know if you can see it. It starts to reflect. We really start to see a little dimension coming in. We'll move on to this one, and then we'll go to the Mylar. Let's grab the Mylar. Put that down on the table towel. We're just going to use that gel brush, and we're going to pick our pieces up. always working on the other hand so we're not wasting time. Okay, we're going to start with our blue. I think I'm going to add a little bit more ice for that reflective. Okay, next one. Get rid of the dark colors. Come back with our lighter colors. Okay, I'm going to grab our shock again. Work on that little line so we don't see it. Come through, add a little bit of the green, some pops, and then a little more ice. Just press them down with my brush. Okay, now we're gonna grab our build pink and we're gonna get our added strength. So we're gonna grab more this time and float it down. Pillow it to the cuticle area. Follow through. Grab some more. We're working with long nails, so we're going to be working with a lot of product. Load it through. Remember, 
we're, we always want to check it from the side so I'm actually going to turn my head so I can see the structure from the side view because it's very deceiving from the top so if I look at it from the side I can see that I'm missing product right here so we're going to pop some in there make sure that we fill it if you're afraid of the run there is nothing wrong with freezing it in the light and then adding more Okay. We're gonna put her in the light, but we're gonna make sure that we turn it on half power, and this is gonna slowly cure the nail so it's not a heat spike. Going to grab our swipe again, lint free wipe, and we're gonna remove. That sticky layer. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and file and shape her and we'll come back to you. Okay, we filed and shaped. I went ahead and painted out the other nails with our go time color, always a bridesmaid. Go to top coating. We're gonna start by protein bonding. And then I'm gonna show you my little trick if you haven't seen it before. I'm gonna put the protein bond down all the way through. That way our top coat does not chip. Same here. Now, I usually get file happy when I'm doing dimensional nails. If you can see, obviously, with the natural nail exposed like that, client's not gonna be too happy because it looks like she already needs a fill. So I'm gonna show you my trick. We're gonna grab that stain resistant top coat. Gonna go ahead and put a thin layer on, really making sure we hit in that back area. Take a little bit of that glitter. I'm gonna tap off the excess. I don't need a ton. And we're gonna go ahead and just do a little glitter press into the back so that cuticle is nice and tight. We're gonna grab that stain resistant top coat again and do our final top coat. in the light for our final one minute cure. Grab our swipe again and remove that sticky layer. We've got our final set of this acrylic and gel combination that Tracy did. There's a big difference between doing your own nails and doing somebody else's nails. I even see it. Tracy, you can actually see what you're doing, I think, a little bit better. Yes. No? Yes? yes? Yeah. Really beautiful, but the big question is, how much, Tracy? Pay for it. <laughs> 145 dollars $145. Okay. That is a nice price point for this set of nails. Explain yourself. The pricing, please, Tracy. Okay, so 145 the reason is, is first of all, we needed that extra length. I don't charge more. Uh, I'm charging $90 for the full set, even though I extended her with acrylic and then put gel on top. I wanted to give her what I thought her nails needed. I thought it needed the structure of acrylic. I thought it needed the pinch of acrylic but she wanted that gel look, so we can do that. Uh, that's not a problem, but I wanna give her what she needs. I don't want her going, deciding on something that won't work for her because it's cheaper. Then we have how many glitters? Jeez, one, two, three, four, five, six, six glitters, one Mylar. Uh, so of course, additional money on that. Uh, $20 for the extra length because it does take a lot longer to do and it takes more product. And then of course the gel polish, I include that in the full set because I'm a nice person. Um, and so we get to 145. I actually like uh, the little ice in there and the little, you did your own kind of like makeup on those glitters. Yeah. It's super blingin' even from up here when I'm shooting down there. It's really beautiful, Tracy. 
I would pay 145 bucks. Will you do my toes? There's not enough money in the world. <laughs> okay, Tracy's got a limit. Thank you for joining us. We will see you next week on How Much. Brought to you by, brought to you by the